Welcome to Mahalo Daily. I'm Veronica Belmont, and I'm joined today by the wonderful Mr. Tom Merritt of CNET fame. Thank you for joining me. You look familiar. Yeah, weird, huh? Never before. But you're known more than just for technology stuff. You also wrote and self-published your very own book. Yes. Uh well, I, I do recommend if people really want to become rich and famous, they, they go the whole agent publisher route. Uh, I, I, I think if you're lazy like me and you just want to see your book in print, uh, that it, it's really cool to be able to go online, take your manuscript, put it up there, and get like a real physical paper book. So what are some of the steps that you need to take to get started? First, obviously, you have to come up with an idea. First, you have to, you have to come up with an idea for a book. and and. For me, the hard part there is coming up with the story. I can come up with settings all day long, and different mm -hmm. people are going to be different ways. But you got to come up with with a, a conflict, something that's going to you know carry people through, sympathetic characters that people care about. You know. Do you have any tips for kind of getting over writer's block or kind of getting into that creative space? Well, I, I can I can show you what I do actually. What are you doing? Um, get some of my best ideas in the bath. Awkward. Uh, can you give me my loofah? So now that you've come up with your um, ideas, and, however, dried off. and you're dry, which I appreciate, Thanks. Um, <laughs> how do you start writing? Uh, well, you know. One great way, if you can't find any other way to just get it going, is to do National Novel Writing Month. NaNoWriMo. And NaNoWriMo is every November, uh, from November 1st through the end of the month. Uh, and I have done one book that way that I would not have written otherwise. So I highly recommend that. But, the, you know, basically you just really need to sit down and let it go. So then after you've gotten a lot of stuff down on your word processor or paper, however you choose to write it, do you need do you edit yourself or do you get your friends to do it? How do you go about that process? Yeah, the, the second phase, after you've got it all down on paper or digitally, uh, is to edit. And mm -hmm. I would definitely recommend editing yourself first. Go back through, take some time, give yourself some space, then go back through and fix the grammar, fix the spelling, look for things that don't make sense, inconsistencies, and make several passes through mm -hmm. it and take breaks in between. Once you've gone through and edited it to a point where you think you've got it in good shape, give it to somebody else to mm -hmm. read. Uh, even if it's just giving it to friends to give you feedback, get them to give you honest feedback. Be willing to take honest feedback too. Take their criticisms because that's what's going to help you is the criticisms. Uh, and, and best of all is if you can get a real editor to do it. And you can, you can hire editors uh, or you could find someone you know who's a competent editor and hire a friend. So once you've got it all down, you've got it all edited, now you want to get it published. So how do you do that? What sites do you use? What Do you have to format it a certain way? There's a ton of sites out there. Uh, just do a, a, a print-on-demand search or self-publisher. I use Lulu, L-U-L-U dot com, and I found it really easy. Do you get to see a, a kind of... Um, a preview of what it'll look like before you upload it to the site? Yeah, when you upload the Word document, it'll give you a PDF uh, back, or if you have a PDF, you know, it'll show you this is what it's going to look like, but really you need to buy the book yourself, and you get to buy it at the reduced rate. You don't have to pay yourself oh, that's nice the profits. Of, that's nice of them. <laughs> uh, but, but it's really important to get that book in your hands because once you've opened it up and you're reading it, you'll see things that you never saw before. You'll notice things that you couldn't notice uh, when you were looking at the digital copy. And that's called a proof. How do you go about promoting yourself once you have your, your book all finished and ready to go? And that's the big trade-off, right? When you're self-publishing, you're not getting Random House out there doing book signings and everything like that. So look around online for... Uh, uh, communities where you can promote it. Uh, there's a lot of writer communities that can like help you out in promoting your book to other writers, but also help you find other places to promote it. Uh, go on to message boards where people have interests that are similar to yours. Create a blog, uh, blog it. Try to send some free copies to people. You mm -hmm. know that's how the big guys do it. So find some people you think you have a good chance they'll actually look at it and send some free copies to them and and. Put it in your emails and send it out to your friends and just try to get the word of mouth out there as much as possible. So it typically goes, come up with a good idea, publish it online, profit. Yeah. Yeah, the profit part is so still, easy. I'm still trying to work on. Oh. Well, thank you very much for explaining all of this to us. Yeah. The internet makes it all happen. Oh, it was fun. Thank you for having me on. All right. I'm Veronica Belmont. I'll see you next time.
because I was like. <laughs> 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 Funny joke. <laughs>